Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at these V2 LED taillights with black housings and smoked lenses fitting 1999 to 2006 Silverado 1500 fleet side models. Just a quick note on fitment here before we dive in, I wanna reiterate that these are only gonna fit fleet side trucks. So these are not gonna fit step side trucks. If you've got a step side, we do have some other options available on our website, so check those out. If you're looking to make your GMT 800 stand out from the pack, these V2 tail lights are gonna be a great way to make that happen. With a unique style and a full complement of LED lighting elements, these are gonna make your truck more visible out on the road because of the lights and also because of the head turning aesthetics. As much as it pains me to admit it, especially as a diehard GMT 800 fan, these trucks are now all nearly 20 years old. So safe to say, it's probably getting close to the time or it's well past time in some cases for you to think about newer tail lights. And if you want something different than your factory setup, these are gonna tick a lot of the right boxes for you. Now there's certainly eye catchers. Whether you love the style or you're just intrigued by it, there's plenty to discuss here. They have almost a Euro tuner type of look to them with the black housing and those lightly smoked lenses. Now having that setup means you get the stealthy look, but you're not really gonna have to compromise much on lighting output as the smoked lenses aren't really all that dark. But the big differentiators here lie inside with the LED lighting elements. So you get this large LED light bar up at the top that turns on a cool red when you turn your running lights on. Now inside of that is a little red reflector and a cluster of LEDs that function as your brake lights. Moving down, you also have these four other LED bars that function as your turn signals, and those guys are sequential, which is always a nice little added touch. Rounding it off is yet another cluster of LEDs down on the bottom, white ones this time, and these are gonna function as your reverse lights. So all of the lighting elements here are LED, meaning that they will be much brighter than your factory incandescent bulbs, and they should last a lot longer too. Makes it less of a hassle for you in the long run. It's definitely gonna make your truck more visible out on the street or trail. Now these lights are also DOT and SAE approved, meaning that they are fully street legal too. Moving on to construction, the outer housings here are constructed from OEM grade ABS plastic, meaning that they're gonna be lightweight and very strong. Over top, you've got these smoked polycarbonate lenses. They're still going to allow plenty of light through while looking cool, and they're also gonna be resistant to UV rays. Now, as we discussed earlier, all the lighting is taken care of by LEDs, which means they should have a nice, bright, and long lifespan. And in the back, you've got everything pre-wired, all your connectors are ready and set to go, and you've got an included resistor right here that's gonna prevent any flickering or hyper-flashing type of situations. Pricing comes in at about $300, and that puts them right in the middle of the pack when it comes to taillights for GMT 800. Now, these aren't the least expensive, but you are getting a fully LED setup, and that makes them pretty good value considering the price. So if you want that output, you want the LEDs, and you like this style, these are gonna be a great addition to your build. It's not gonna cost you a fortune. Installation is also a nice and easy one out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should only take you about 45 minutes to complete the job. Now these are pretty much a plug and play operation. Again, no wiring is required. However, you do have to make sure you take some care to get the polarity right, the positive and negative wires on here. Gotta line up properly into the harness on the truck so you don't run into any blowing your fuses or any other type of issues like that. And there's a couple of clips that you have to put on here to get the screws through, but otherwise, very simple job. So fear not, we've got a walkthrough coming up right now, courtesy of one of our AT customers. So with that, let's hand the torch over and show you the process. So today I'm gonna to be switching out my tail lights on my 04 Silverado 1500. I did some VHT tint to get them dark, but they're a little too dark and I don't wanna get pulled over at night. Um, the only thing we'll be needing is these retainer clips for the screws and uh, either a drill or a screwdriver with a Phillips head bit. All right, so there's a screw right here and there's a screw at the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and take those two out. All right, so now that we got them out, there's four of these. We're gonna go ahead and take out all of them. All right, and that's the tail light by itself. So as you can see on these tail lights, there's positive and a negative terminal. You have to get these right on here. So as you can see, I marked it a positive and a negative, and you can tell by these wires down here. We're gonna take out all of these bulbs. And before we start installing this second tail light, uh, we're gonna go ahead 
and put on these retainer clips. Just this side, right here. They pop right into place. So you see the positive, you're gonna try to match that up with this. We're gonna push them in and turn them counterclockwise. Same with my turn signal. That's the right way. I'm gonna push it in, turn it counterclockwise. Same thing with my reverse light. And if you do put them in, if you connect the positive to the negative, um, you will blow a fuse. Just go ahead and look that up online. See what fuse you blew and just switch that one out. All right, so we got this reverse light in. Uh, we just have to put this side marker in at the very bottom. Turn it counterclockwise just like the rest. All right, and we're gonna put this plastic bit into this hole, these two holes, push that in. And then we just tighten these holes. That's it, tighten these screws. Same thing on the bottom. All right guys, so we got these V2 LED tail lights installed. They look really nice. Uh, we got the two screws tightened, so they're all installed. Let's go ahead and test them out. That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install the V2 LED tail lights with black housings and smoke lenses fitting 1999 to 2006 Silverado 1500 fleet sides. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, for all things Silverado, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.